Hey, hey, Queen City Minis and more fans. Welcome back, folks. So today, guys, we are talking the city-states. I know you've heard a lot of these recently, but they've got a new kit coming out, the Companion Cavalry. So these are the fast movers that the city-states have really needed for a little bit now. And I'm happy to see these gorgeous models hit the table as well as a new character kit. So let's dive into these. Let's talk about how you can get some at a discount, the lore behind them, and what they bring to the tabletop. So guys, speaking of the tabletop, for all your wonderful tabletop needs with Conquest, check out Parabellum's eShop. Use code QueenCity at checkout to get 10% off your purchase. A small portion of your purchase does go to help the channel out, which has been a fantastic help recently. We bought some brand new lav mics, as well as we're about to buy a roadcaster and a couple other things to help the channel out. Especially with our live streaming moving forward with the Cherokee Open coming up in February, where I'll be streaming uh, Age of Sigmar this year. So those will be a huge help, and I do want to thank everyone who's used this code so far this year. If you want to help out the channel too, you can always subscribe down below. We do appreciate anyone who subscribes to our channel. And speaking of helping the channel, guys, check out our Patreon. So guys, we do have a Patreon. We do list multiple things there as well as it's the best way to get a hold of me. Um, and you're automatically into, in, entered into win any of our giveaways. We do want to thank our very first patron and currently our main patron, Sean M. You've been awesome, buddy. Thank you so much for your help over the past couple months. You've been a huge huge help guys now our patrons are automatically entered into any of our giveaways so make sure you check those out check our patreon out for a couple bucks a month you can help the channel go and proceed and get better for the future but guys let's talk about what we need to we need to talk about some companion cavalry so companion cavalry are rather an outlier in the city state's forces mainly because they do not in the strictest sense of word belong to the citizen soldiery army of most armies the companions are rather a voluntary force drawn from among the wealthy oligarch and noble families of the city state armed and armored in the finest weapons money can buy these in impetus scions of nobility are trained by retired polemarchs and aristarchs in the private gymnasiums of the wealthy while their horsemanship is honed in the massive hippodromes that tend to dominate the skylines of the city-states despite the eclectic training and impetuous nature of these horsemen are a valuable enough tool to that the city-states have diverged from their orthodox army organization to incorporate them so it's super cool their kind of lore here these are like the outliers um whereas the polar marks and hoplites are kind of like the army of the city state itself these are kind of like the little outliers so super cool little lore bit here they are also like the sealed temple to where they come from more wealthier families who can pay for the training and the equipment and all that good stuff but parabellum says these are the quintessential long-range precision tools for every city state's commander companion cavalry shine when operating deep behind enemy lines they threaten enemy light regiments and function as rapid shock cavalry charging withdrawing and then charging again so good little description of them good little way to let uh parabellum has how they play but let's see what they bring to the tabletop Alrighty, so as far as the companion cavalry go they come in at 160 points so about 50 points per stand and then you know throw 10 points in there for a champion but they are a cavalry regiment they are medium and they have a movement of eight kind of standard for a lot of the humanoid horses you got to realize within the city state's faction itself horses are considered incredibly rare so that's why you don't see them like the hundred kingdoms which really rely heavily on the cavalry units uh movement of eight volley of one clash of two six attacks which is pretty good wounds four resolve three defense of two and an evasion of one so they have the impact two special rule and dread so for those of you who don't know what dread is enemy regiments in contact with a regiment with this special rule cannot benefit from the effects of inspired special rule in instances where a regiment or stand always benefits from the inspired special rule this rule is superseded so Kind of an interesting little thing to tack onto here. I think the description that Parabellum gave is these guys are going to wreck some light infantry units. They're going to be a really good medium unit to get on to clear out your light um, infantry blockers, especially with the six attacks each. Impact two is a little low. I wish it was three, but it's not bad. The big problem with this unit, though, is they don't have any way to get through shield or any armor really so you're really going to want these guys to come in on people's flanks and try and flank people 
especially things that are higher defense like men at arms or um, huskarls from the nords or the valkyries themselves so keep that in mind when you're playing this unit but for 160 points yeah we'll see um, the super cool model kit and super cool lore behind these guys but let's go into this unit and talk about what i think Alrighty guys, so my final thoughts for the Companion Cavalry, I'm going to give them a C. Okay, they're not the best cavalry on the tabletop. Yes, they give City States something they needed. They needed a fast moving unit, which are these guys. They're medium so they can score objectives, which is great. So they can rush past other units and through light units to try and go score objectives in your enemy's deployment zones. But you have to be really careful with these guys. They don't have really good saves compared to the rest of the army. They don't have shield. They don't have anything like that. So they're going to be really susceptible to attacks. You want to get in there, charge light units, do your impact hits, do your regular hits, and try and break or even shatter them uh, on the charge, which is going to be really key for these guys. And then set up a new charge and do it again. Now, the other problem with this unit is they're really limited in the number you can take. There's only one hero in the entire city-state faction that can take these guys which kind of makes sense because it is the only mounted city-states hero out there and the only one that can even have a mount you know it's not like Wadroon to where a bunch of the characters can um, take like monsters and stuff like that but what's his name the Ipakakos right the horse little polyarch dude so I think if you're taking this unit or taking a unit of companion cavalry you're definitely going to be taking him to attach with it to increase your combat uh, capabilities with this unit as well as unlock a couple other buffs plus these guys are a mainstay for him but they're a weird mainstay you cannot take him and four units of companion cavalry at most you can only take two so lore wise when they were making this unit they did it to represent how rare horses are within the city states and how rare these troops are because they're really, really different than the normal fighting style. Just like we saw in the lore that these guys are like the higher ups within society and have really good paid houses to where they can afford armor and training and things like that. But overall, I see this unit kind of being hard to grade. A good general who knows how to play these and can use them really well is going to benefit from them. But they're also going to learn the balance of these guys to where they're not the tankiest things on the table but they move really well and they'll work really well with big blocks of other infantry units that can hold the line and allow these guys to do tricksy moves to come in on the side and do extra damage so it's really hard to grade these in the hands of someone who knows how to use them and can use them well these guys are going to be like a b or even an a rank unit but for your average general in looking at these guys just as themselves I have to give them an overall of a C okay they're not something that you're gonna open the box up build the models throw them on the table and instantly go wreck Yatnars with you know um, they're gonna take some time to learn some time to master themselves as well as some time to master the hero and how you're gonna load him out and use them so I see really good potential in this unit, but straight out of the box for a brand new player coming in, this is a finesse unit that you're really going to have to take your time to learn and really take your time to master. Overall, not bad, and they have a potential to be amazing, but they're not that great either when we look at them. But guys, let's... Uh let me know what you think down below. Let me know if you think I'm crazy and these things are fantastic and I'm just some crazy man talking on the YouTubes. Or if you think that, you know, I'm right that they're probably about to see. But guys, let me know down below. And if you haven't done so, make sure you subscribe as well. And remember guys, it does go a long way if you hit that thumbs up button and read a comment down below. It helps with the good old YouTube algorithms. But guys, if you like our content here, check out all of our other stuff we have going on. Mondays is Conquest Mondays where we talk about Conquest the Last Argument of Kings. Wednesdays is whatever Wednesdays where we do just basically whatever I kind of want to talk about. It's kind of like my free day. Thursday is the drop verse where we're going to be talking about building a new army within the new year as well as how to get started with Drop Zone Commander in 2024. 
Friday is Legions Imperialis, where we're going to be talking about playing Epic and all the cool stuff coming out for that, as well as we might change this to Horus Heresy to talk about the Horus Heresy game during that period too. Saturday is Smackdown. All right, that's where we're going to be doing some battle reports, hopefully here in the future, as well as live streams of different events. And the first Sunday of every month is our studio update. So check those out, guys. We've got some really cool stuff coming here in the future and some really cool giveaways. So if you want to get a bonus in those, join our Patreon. And remember, you can only win our giveaways if you're a subscriber. So make sure you subscribe as well. But guys, I do want to thank you for joining me here at Queen City Minis and More. Y'all have been fantastic, and it's been awesome talking with you. Queen City Minis and More, folks, signing out.